Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of this beginner guide tutorial series for Premiere Pro. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use uh, multi cameras uh, within your workflow. Uh, so we're going to start off by dragging my two uh, camera shots I've got. So uh, the first shot I've got is of me, I recorded that using my recording software and I've got one that Max recorded. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag these two into the media window and we're going to make it so we can easily switch between both of these while we're editing in our video so uh, to do this we first need to align the timings up on them so the audio and the video is all synced together so we don't get any audio that goes out of sync so uh, the first step we need to take is if we double click on our video um, it will bring it up in the source panel over here so we're just going to drag our scrubber right to the very start and I'm going to pick the point uh, just, just pick you can really pick any point you like but for the purposes of this, this tutorial I'm just going to pick the first point where I start speaking Hello. so you can see I start speaking in uh, one minute uh, sorry sorry about what uh, one second ish I'd say Hello. So we have to line this up absolutely exactly, otherwise it won't work. So we have milliseconds on the right, we have seconds, um, minutes and hours. So I'm going to line this up exactly. So you can use the left and right arrow keys to be really precise with this. So the first point I speak is at exactly one second. So what I need to do here is hit the add marker button. Um, so you don't really need to know what a marker is just now. Uh, we'll be getting into that a little bit later. But all you need to do is just hit the add marker button. So we need, then we need to move on to our second video, which in my case is the one that Max recorded as well. I'm just going to scrub right to the very start on that one, and also listen for when he first starts talking. Hello. So uh, you could hear my voice there, just scrub back to when I first started speaking. I started it on where it's, when I started to say hello, uh, so the very very first uh, start of that word, I put that in. So that's 122 on there so you can see that there's about half a second difference now if you just left it like that just without the uh, syncing then it would appear um, everything went on here for example the audio if I choose one audio track from here everything uh, on here the sound would be half a second later which wouldn't be good so once you've marked your audio on all your clips you don't have to, you can have more than two you can have as many as you want really but we're just going to uh, click on one clip, hold down shift and click on the other one as well. So that should have both of those two selected. We're then going to right click on one of the clips and then we're going to create multicam source sequence. So we're just going to hit on that. Now this is what you're going to call your, your single camera that you're going to create from these two uh, footages. So I'm going to call it multicam 1-2. Uh, that's just the name I've called it. You can call it absolutely anything you like. Um, so the synchronized point, uh, as you remember earlier, I talked about it would be, the audio would be out of sync and the video would be out of sync. Well, uh, we've chosen to use a clip marker uh, to mark the sync points. So we've already done that, so we don't need to worry about really worry about that. Uh, just hit clip marker, and if you already if you have um, more clip markers uh, within your video then you just need to select the one you have but if you don't know anything about that then you need to you don't need to worry about it just make sure it says a nine marker one um, we don't really need to worry about this but uh, make sure this box t is ticked so it says move source clips to processed clips bin uh, so that will put it in a nice uh, neat folder for us so we don't have thousands of clips lying around in the uh, media panel and make sure what you, the for the audio you can pick which camera you want to use for that but I'm just going to stick with uh, camera one uh, because that's my audio recording I, uh, I, I like to use mine uh, and you don't need to worry about this a little bit either so once you've uh, configured all your settings here and you're happy with that you need to hit OK and then you should get one file and a folder so we can now imagine this uh, this this uh, multicam sequence as one uh, video file so if we drag that onto our timeline <coughs> we can see that um, 
it, it, it is just me at the moment. There's there's no max there. Uh, but if we double click on this, we can see we have two shots here. Uh, that's that's actually showing us both of uh, both mine and Max's shots on here. Uh, but to switch uh, between them within the actual timeline, so it appears properly on our video, uh, we need to adjust a few little settings. So there's two ways of doing this. We can either do this manually or the sort of a keyboard shortcut you can do which is a lot quicker and a lot more efficient which I recommend doing. But I'm going to sort of teach you the uh, the manual way first. So uh, you need to have two clips that you can use to change uh, the camera. So we actually select the cutting tool so I'm going to press C or you can click on the, ra sorry, the razor tool just click on that there and I'm gonna say change it at 1 minute 15 so uh, from 1 minute 15 onwards I want to use Max's camera so if we move on to the select tool click on the second clip we've made and then right click on that we can then hover over multi camera and we can select camera 2 and now you'll notice the file names changes to Max cam and if we scrub over that you'll see that it changes to Max's camera and it'll be exactly lined up uh, in place if, if that's uh, presuming you've done the uh, the uh, t clip markers correctly if you haven't then I'd recommend just restarting this whole process again and uh, making sure you've lined it all up because otherwise if you don't get it right then you'll have uh, quite a big problem so uh, you can imagine this is just one clip like I said and you just do your normal basic editing that I've taught you in previous tutorials. So I'm now going to teach you how to uh, do the quick way which I prefer to do. So I'm just going to undo both those changes I made, so making the uh, cut cut here and changing the camera, so I'm going to press Control Z twice to undo those two changes. And let's just scroll back to 1 minute 15 here again. Now normally I'd have to make a cut here and uh, change it manually but there is a far quicker method so if I just press control and then the camera number that you want to switch to so in my case um, the camera number is 2 so it's max I'm gonna do press control and 2 at the same time and you'll see that it makes a nice clean cut there and it switches from camera 1 to camera 2 now just a quick reminder I would not recommend using uh, multiple audio tracks because if there is a very slight difference in them uh, you'll get an awful lot of feedback and uh, sort of um, repeats of words and stuff like that so at this beginners level personally I would not do that and if you do want a tutorial on that again please leave a comment in the description and we'll get onto that in a later tutorial if you request it so that's all for this tutorial guys hope you enjoyed it hope you thought it was educational and uh, served its good so that's all for this tutorial guys, hope you enjoyed it and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in, uh, please. hope you enjoyed this video guys, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comments box down below and we'll see you in the next video.